Hi guys, Asher from the Noise Sector here. We're now three months into the initiative and everything's really coming together. Our armies are nearly done, our tables looking really good, so we thought we'd take you guys on a bit of a visual journey to our journey over the last three months. So, here is the Defour Expeditionary Force, my Algoran army that I've been painting over the last couple of months. So on the left here, we have an armoured infantry squad led by the brave Tel Halas. He's a real trooper and always gets the objective with his troops. Behind that we have the faithful uh, probe chart that has been invaluable in many games. We have um, Kurantur's assault squad. Kurantur is my leader and he is a real hero. He generally gets all of his squaddies killed in a series of daring assaults but has won me many a game. Behind him, we have my ex-launcher team, which is MVP game after game. That net ammunition just pays for itself. And then finally, we have Paronek's squad of armoured infantry. These guys are real killers, just don't ask them to hold an objective. They're rubbish at that. And so, that's my 500 points of Algorand, and here are the others with their armies. Hey guys, I'm Dan from the Noise Sector. I have a horrible cold, but I have come in nonetheless to do my amazing army. You've already seen Asher, this is my lovely Concord Force. You may note that there is more than 500 points on the table here. As number one most handsome man, I have gone above and beyond and painted everything that Andy has gone and giveth us. So starting off, we have a lovely C3 strike squad with Plasma Lance and a Spotter Drone. I don't know why you would ever not take both of those, because those are fantastic. You'll notice at the back, I have some lovely Plasma Light support drones with a Spotter Drone and I believe a Batter Drone flying around. Mew, 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 mew. Gotta have that template, that's really, really cool. Those guys lay down all sorts of fire when I play. Next, we have my Drop Command Squad. Unlike Asher, this is my only named squad. This is led by Commander Yazi Yasu, which I have a terrible feeling in Mandarin means Duck Duck Goose. Try and spot the Top Gun reference. At the back, I have another C3 squad to really build that punch. Those Lancers working together, firing off separate pins on separate units is the worst thing that's ever happened to a Gar Outcast squad. Moving over, we have another squad of C3 yet again. I think you're detecting a pattern here. And at the back, we have yet another unit of C3 strike squads. That is my fourth strike squad. I actually have technically 500 points of just strike squads. You can notice I got bored with these guys and changed the palette to be in line with the command squad. So these lads will shift do double double duty as a command squad if I ever feel like it. And on the far side, we have the support drone with the subverter matrix, which is yet to see enough action, but I must tell you that the cheapest batter drone in the list has been fantastic. All right. That's a little walking tour of my army. I hope you've enjoyed it. By all means, keep up with us on the Facebook, and now to the next one. Well, he would have been going. Greetings, future servants of the Gar Empire. I am Mick, and this, as we go down, is the mighty war host of Baduk Vul in his mighty golden war suit. To his left, we have his minions, the unsullied, wounded masses, about which no one really cares, so moving on. The war suits, the main force of the army who crush all our enemies under their iron treads. And finally, the most vicious of all outcasts, the Mohawked one and his minions, who strike terror into the hearts of their enemies shortly before they plant a knife there. And not only because they ran out of ammunition. You'll see this and more coming to a war zone near you soon.